April 29th, 2021, at approximately 8.39 a.m., Lancaster Sheriff Station deputies responded to the 39,400 block of 167th Street East Lake Los Angeles regarding a call of an assault with a deadly weapon in progress. The caller said a male Hispanic was pointing a rifle at passing vehicles in the street near the location. The male was later identified as Alfredo Aceves, a 64-year-old Lake Los Angeles resident. Transfer for information on a gentleman with a shotgun on Rawhide and 170th Street East. Do you still have the informant on the line? Yes, I do. You go ahead. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yes, ma'am. What is your phone number? <laughs> this gentleman, is he walking around with it? Is What is he doing with it? Yeah, so he's entering and exiting his backyard. So he's in his own yard? Shotgun? No, he's, he's, he keeps walking into his backyard and then back out to the street. Do you know this gentleman or is he just... No, he lives in my mother's neighborhood. I was on my way to my mom's house. Is it a shotgun or what? Yes, it's a double barrel shotgun. And he keeps pointing at, there's like been like at least five cars he's pointed it at. Okay. While they've driven down the street that I've watched. He didn't point it at you, did he? Oh, he did. And I have my children in the car. Okay. And then another car just drove by, and she saw me on the phone, so she stopped to ask if I was on 911, and she had children in the car, and he also pointed at her. That house? Is he like a neighbor to your mom, or? Um, I believe he lives there. He keeps walking into the backyard, so you can access their backyard on Rawhide. Okay. And he keeps, I keep watching him walk in through the gate and grab stuff. He's throwing stuff out into the, into the street. There's a pile of rock and wood and stuff out there. It looks like he's trying to make a roadblock. Lots of vehicles coming on the street? Yeah. And every time a vehicle has driven by, they've, like, gone around it on the opposite side of where he's at. And he points his gun at them. Oh, my goodness. Yep. And it looks like he's pointing the gun at the neighbors across the street. Now they got kids. Oh, God. As the deputies arrived on scene, they contacted multiple victims who described Aceves as being armed with a rifle or shotgun in front of a residence where large rocks and debris had been placed on the roadway. The victims said Aceves shot at them as they drove in front of the residence. While speaking with the victims, deputies heard what they believed were gunshots. The deputies immediately initiated a containment of the area and requested the assistance of the Special Enforcement Bureau regarding a possible active shooter. At approximately 9.47 a.m., deputies assigned to the Special Enforcement Bureau arrived and began clearing surrounding yards and conducting evacuations of nearby residences. Deputies assigned to a containment position in a backyard just east of the location observed Aceves emerge from the residence. Aceves was holding what the deputies believed to be a shotgun, pressed up against his shoulder and pointed outwards in front of him. One of the deputies noticed Aceves walking toward other deputies who were staged near the front of the residence. The deputy immediately ordered Aceves to drop the weapon. Aceves failed to comply and continued moving closer to the deputies while still holding what the deputy believed to be a shotgun and a deputy-involved shooting occurred. Aceves was struck by gunfire and fell to the ground. Special Enforcement Bureau deputies and emergency services detail paramedics immediately responded and administered medical aid to Aceves, but he was pronounced dead. There were no other persons injured in the incident. An object resembling a rifle or shotgun was recovered at the scene. Upon closer examination, the object was made of multiple metal rods fastened together with electrical tape and zip ties. It was determined that the object was not capable of firing a projectile. Alfredo Aceves had been previously convicted of burglary, disobeying a court order, possession of a controlled substance, and driving under the influence.